Hi, this is Regina Huber, and I'll be sharing a series of videos uh, this week that can take us through these challenging times more powerfully and possibly also beyond this week. So I'll post videos every day this week. Stay tuned for them and uh, listen up. My, this is my contribution to support you and all humans in these challenging times. These videos will not be perfect, but I hope they are powerful and they can inspire you to spread uh, a wave of positive vibration and a vibration that helps healing and that helps us make progress faster. While we need to deal with the virus pandemic, there's also a pandemic of negativity and panic going around the world right now that is really not conducive to positive change. So I want to talk about this in this introductory video. First of all, we must move out of the pan pandemic of negativity and panic. Stop watching the news all day unless you do something about the news. Yeah, so get a quick news update, maybe every day a scoop, uh, just to be updated, to take the necessary measures that are recommended and the advice just to stay safe and then turn off your TV and turn off your online news. Listening to negativity in the news contributes to fear and panic. Your panic debilitates your immune system. It creates stress. Fear is also at the root of hoarding food and toilet paper as it's happening here right now. So let's stop this. Get some necessary stocks so that you can survive for a few days if you have to stay inside, that's for sure. But don't hoard. Isolate your bodies. Don't isolate your souls. That's not even possible, really. Fear and love are mutually exclusive. Fear contributes to the mess. It's aggravating it. Love can mitigate it. And if we really all made a concerted effort through love and through this vibration of love, we could actually resolve the current situation pretty quickly. It's just that human consciousness isn't all that ready quite yet. But you can still do your part. And that's the good news. We are powerful. We can do something about this. Yes. Think of the power of a mother who has three sick kids at home. Just her intention and her willingness to not get sick so she can take care of her kids will keep her healthy. She's saying to herself, there's no effing way for me to get sick. My children need me. And I even know of somebody who cured herself from cancer because she had four children at home and, and they needed her. So this is all possible, right? Some people just really refuse to get sick. You have that power too. We all do. It's about your inner power. I've been talking about this in my work a lot, but now it takes a whole other dimension. And I want to share this with you. And I believe that that we are really on our path to learning uh, to be in our power, to learn about self-empowerment at this point. So I want to clarify something important, right? You may not get sick but still be a carrier of the virus. So not being sick doesn't mean you don't have to take precautions, of course. So do take precautions to protect yourself and others, but also um, really focus on that inner power to keep yourself healthy if you can, right? And again, there's also no judgment. You might get sick. Well, yes, you might. And I'm gonna deal with that in a later video. And there's no judgment in that. You, it's not that you haven't been able to keep yourself healthy, but let's just do our best, right? So this, this um, um, inner power that I'm talking about is about your heart power. It's about your soul power. It's about the power of love. And I'm, I'm going to share more about that in tomorrow's video. But for right now, I, I really want to talk about this power again. Uh, so pa panic has power, but you don't have to give in to it because we all have the opposite power in us as well. So it's the power of love, love in big letters. It's unconditional love. It, we have that power of unconditional love. Being the victim, being miserable and commiserating never works. We know that. Right? So what has a positive impact, in, uh, on the other hand, is love and compassion. So let's use this time well. Let's take that coronavirus down. We are all beacons. We have all the power of love. And we, we, we bring, when we bring it together into something bigger, it will have a greater effect. It will have an exponential effect. If we all spend just an hour per day working for the world, putting our love out, that can have a major 
impact. You don't have to be super spiritual for this, right? So science shows that everything is energy. We are energy. Our thoughts even are energy. Our words are energy. We are not helpless. So let's use this energy. Yeah, we have it already. And, you know, if you just want to do your part by being with yourself and being in peace and meditating, that's fine too. That alone is spreading positive vibration. With that alone, you're radiating that vibration. But if you want to do more, stay with me. So you may have heard of the effect of words and thoughts on water. Several decades ago, the Japanese researcher and healer, Dr. Masaru Emoto, conducted experiments with mo water mo molecules. And he proved that human thoughts, words, and intentions modify the water crystals. They change the molecular, sorry, the molecular structure of water. And uh, if you haven't seen the images or read about it, I invite you to Google him. It's Dr. Masaru Emoto. Now he froze water, uh, bottles of water um, that were instilled with positive messages and other bottles with water that was infused with, with hateful messages. Yeah, so he labeled the bottles with both types of water and he froze the water. Now the water labeled with negative messages showed water crystals in chaos after freezing it. They looked totally disassembled and chaotic together. And the other ones, the, 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 the water crystals that had been uh, infused with positive words, with words of love and peace, they were affected um, in, in, a, in a totally different way. Yes, they, were, they, they showed up as in perfect, beautiful order and balance. So we have visual evidence that our thoughts and words affect everything they are directed at. And even but they're not directed at because we all contribute to the, uh, to the collective energy and, and, and subconscious and all of that. So yes, our thoughts and words have a vibration. They are energy and they have an impact. Even just thinking that you want to do harm to somebody will affect that person negatively, yes? But the opposite is also true and that's the good news. So we don't only use our words and emotions to manifest things nowadays. We have learned, a lot of us have learned how to manifest things through thoughts, emotions, through feelings. But right now we need to use those thoughts and emotions to manifest something different, to create a positive impact for the world. Yes, which by the way, will reverberate back to, to ourselves and really act as a boomerang and bring that vibration back to us as well. Now, we all together have the power to change something back to its perfection, like the water crystals that all got out of, out of sync uh, in, in, in the bottles where it was negatively affected through the words and, and emotions. They can't be changed back into perfection with words of love. And so we can also aff aff uh, affect or uh, rather impact other other any other things and bring them back together with loving words. So how are you going to use your thoughts and your words to create positive impact now? That's my question for you today. And what are you going to do with the extra time at home? While you're not going to events, not going to, to the gym maybe or whatever, you know, still do your gym at home, of course, if you want to. And I'm going to do my dancing at home. But why not take an hour every day of that time you save on your commute and help us contribute positive vibration to the world. Share this video with your circles and spread the love. These messages can be lifesavers to many now. And also post in the comment section to, uh, below. So this video um, is the introductory video to a series of video. Tomorrow I'm going to also share a specific exercise that we can do together. Stay tuned. And if I feel inspired to do that tonight, I might even share it tonight still. So if you have a message but don't want to make a video yourself, I can include that in one of my videos if it's aligned with my channeling, channeling and my messaging. Okay, so I just want to ask you for one thing. Please only submit positive comments here. If you don't like it, just navigate somewhere else. This is an uplifting community. And I will keep it so by deleting any intruding negative messages that are counterproductive for this purpose and to our joint efforts here. So how can you contribute to changing the situation of chaos into one of greater alignment with the power of love? 
put it in the comments. I'm sure you have your own ways as well. And then do it. Start doing it today, although my other video is only coming out tomorrow. But start spreading the love today. Tomorrow I'm going to share this tool to spread love. So stay tuned for it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which at this point will be repurposed for the important go to halt the virus from spreading or to at least slow it down uh, in whatever way we can do that. And the rest is up to the scientists, of course, they're doing their part as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being with me and for sharing this video, for sharing the love and for posting it in your communities. Thank you.